If you've ever run into the problem of having a design file that you need to change the color of, this would typically be done in something like Photoshop, but today I'm gonna to be showing you how we can do this in Canva, and then right after I'll show you a slightly more advanced way and possibly a better way we can do this. If this video is helpful at all, definitely subscribe down below. It's super encouraging for us. Okay, so jumping into Canva, I'm gonna go ahead and create a design. I'm gonna do a custom size here, just 4,000 by 3,000. Click create new design. And then I'm gonna go ahead and import my logo. So I'm just gonna drag it in. And then an important thing to note, because this is a flat image file, there is no direct way in Canva to change these colors. So we have to use some workarounds. So what we wanna do is we wanna select this file right here and we can go to edit image. And we wanna select this duotone effect. Uh, mine is right under recently used, but yours might be at the very bottom under you may also like. So if I go ahead and select that, I wanna select the first option here. You mean you can choose any of these. Um, it's not important, but what we want to do now is we wanna select the controls. So if we click this little button right here, click that, and you can kind of see what's happening right here. So it's mapping these two colors to your image file right here. So what we want to do is um, use this to change the colors here. So I wanna change this highlights color to white, and then I'm gonna change the shadow color to the color that I want. So in this case, I'm just gonna do a pure blue color. So immediately you can see kind of the problem that we have with Duotone. Uh, it's blending between white and blue, so we kind of get a pale blue. So we have to further kind of correct this. Uh, so if we go ahead and hit apply here, we wanna scroll back up to the top, and then under adjustment settings, we want to turn up the contrast here and turn down the brightness a little bit. If we go too far, the white will turn to gray. We don't want that. So I'm gonna bring it back up a little bit. And then I'm also going to boost the saturation here just a little bit. So as you can see here, it's not perfect, but it gets the job done. So now I'm going to show you how we can just do part of the image. So I'm going to delete this and then under uploads, redrag this in, make sure to center it. And then I wanna hit this duplicate icon right here. Just click that. Now we wanna to go to the crop setting, click that. And we're gonna crop off this logo part right here. So what we've done here is basically split the image in half now. So now if we go to edit image to the duotone effects and then go to controls again, we can do exactly as we just did before. So changing this highlight color to white, I'm gonna change the shadow color. I'm gonna do kind of a uh, kind of a burnt orange color. Click apply, and then I'll scroll back up to the top, bring up this contrast, and then bring down the brightness, and then bring up the saturation. Perfect. So these methods are great and all, but what if we wanna change more than two colors, or maybe your logo is low resolution, or even if the, uh, the logo is overlapped by some text or something. What we wanted to do is we actually wanna change the original vector file. So one way we can turn our file into something editable is if we go to Adobe Express SVG Converter, and it should be the first option here. And we just go to Upload, my photo here, I'll drag that in. And then once that's done, I'm going to hit the download option. So now that we have an editable SVG file, uh, we need to go to another website to be able to edit it. So what I'm going to use is editor.method.ac. And what opens up is gonna be kind of like a Photoshop like website, but I promise it's really simple to use. Uh, what we want to do is go to file and we want to open up an svg right here so click open svg then i'll select our newly downloaded file here and click open so immediately i'm going to delete this white part of the image so this is left over from our original picture file um, so if we click this click the white area and then i'm going to right click and hit delete it'll be removed so if we click there's nothing there now and I wanna remove these intersections too. So holding shift, I'll select all of these and then right click 
and then hit delete. And because we made an SVG file, when we select this color right here, if I go ahead and select it at the left, I can change it to whatever I want. So if I go to a blue and click OK, perfect. Now I can also change the text here. So if I select all the letters holding shift, I can go again to the left under the little, little color picker here and choose something again. So I'm gonna do kind of a reddish orange color. All right, so once we've made all our changes, all we have to do is just go to file and then hit export as PNG. Now in Canva, I can just go ahead and drag that newly downloaded file in and use it wherever I like. All right, I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to leave a comment down below of what you think of the video, if you have any comments or suggestions. And if you like the video, definitely subscribe down below. It's super encouraging for us. All right, peace.